No, you're not dreaming. This is an Alphalete video. We've literally gone all summer without an Alphalete video. They've done little baby, little turd drops here and there. <laughs> a lot of teas, joggers, men's things. And nothing that made me really inspired to make an exclusive video about. I know we were all waiting for something big to come along. We are looking at the brand new Amplify Contour. They took the signature Amplify legging and they spiced things up a bit. When I first grabbed these babies out of the bag, I opened them like presents on Christmas Day, and I was like, totally not what I thought they would look like since I've just been seeing them pretty much on the iPhone like everybody else. So I really didn't know what to expect. I knew there would be contour, I knew it would be different, but I didn't know to what extent. Needless to say, we have a lot to talk about. Alphalete really did spice the game up with these. You can expect this drop happening on September 30th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And of course, as usual, if you find this video helpful and you see something you like that you're looking to snag, I do have my code GATA that gives you 10% off at checkout, and it also goes towards helping this channel big time, keeping these reviews coming your way so you always know what to expect before the launch. Always let me know if you use it so I could give you a virtual kiss. It'd be something like this. First and foremost, I want to go over what exactly is dropping on launch day. From there, I'll be going in depth with the color palette that they have. There's some colors that are super similar to each other. So once we go over all of the colors in depth, then I'll be going into the actual review of the fit, the compression, how it's holding up in the gym. I actually did a full-fledged workout in it, so I have some things to say. I actually did do an Instagram drop box asking you guys if you had questions. You had really good, solid questions. So I'll be answering them throughout the video. So without further ado, let's see what to do. September 30th, 1 p.m. EST, you can expect the obvious contour leggings to drop with matching contour bras. Each color has a corresponding bra. We also have identical colors launching in the contour shorts that have a five inch inseam. I didn't grab any shorts this time around. Given the season change, I knew I would get a lot more use out of the leggings. We also have the Earth Dye Graphic Jogger, Earth Dye Natural Jogger, Men's Reform Compression shorts and leggings, cryptic tee, stencil hoodie, and stencil vintage cap. Stencil hoodies look pretty dope, not gonna lie. A little geometric, little color block, real intricate design, pretty abstract. I think they could be fun. Now that we're on the same page with what's dropping, let's go ahead and take a look at this dope color palette. Hi, here we are. We have seven unique colors launching. We're looking at clay, which I'm wearing right now, which is <laughs> my favorite. We have porcelain, sand, mocha, pewter, cashmere, and black. As you can see, this whole color palette is super muted. Really beautiful seasonal colors. Nothing's too loud and in your face like the last launch. That was, um, that was tough. You either loved it or you hated it. I feel like there's a color for everybody here. You have some warm tones, you have some definite cool tones. This palette is definitely the perfect color range to kick off the season. Let's start with my favorite, clay. I'm so glad it wasn't too, too close to my skin tone because in certain lighting, I was like, oh my God, I think I look naked. Nobody likes that. All right, because when you get that double glance, you don't know what it's for. It could be like, damn girl, that set looks fire on you. Or it could be like, damn girl, you forgot to put on your pants. This definitely looks like pumpkin spice. Just a really low key, muted, calm, cool, and collected pumpkin spice. Looking closely, I'm actually not seeing any real marl stand out. So if you're looking for a solid tone or relatively solid, this could work. Porcelain is definitely the lightest color out of all of them. This has a little bit of a, a light tan, but with a tinge of lavender, almost like a dusty pink, dusty lavender. It's a really pretty neutral. It's very, very light though. And I'm not really seeing any marl in this one either. I'm gonna pull these two colors at the same time because they are the most identical to each other. To be honest with you, it was very hard for me to tell them apart, but I think I have it down. Okay, which one? <laughs> okay. Sand and mocha. Put them together, they look very similar, don't they? Sand has more of a warm tone brown to it, and mocha's a very cool tone color, so in certain lighting, it actually looks like there's some gray in it. Another big difference, the sand has a marl, whereas the mocha does not. So do you prefer marl or do you want some solids? 
I like that they went with marl on the sand because it makes sense, you know? It's sand, you want some texture, like it's, like you almost can feel it in between your toes. Whereas mocha, it's a little more straightforward. It's solid, it's sleek, almost has a slight little shine to it, almost metallic. Sand is just a little more rugged. I like sand better. But not more than the clay. Just wanna make sure you know that. <laughs> Pewter, hello. So here is our dark gray. This has a moral breakup. But anyways, it's a very cool tone gray, very dark in certain lighting and very low lighting, it could almost look black. Not quite the color I gravitate towards. I don't really usually do darker grays. Next up is cashmere. This is a really dark brown. More of my speed, a little bit warmer than the pewter. But in terms of different shades of brown, this is definitely on the cooler side. It's not a warm chocolate brown. This I would say is more of just an espresso. It is hard to see, but this does have a moral breakup. Last but not least, black. Classic, staple, goes with everything kind of black. No moral breakup, just solid in your face. So if you're somebody who really loves this design, which we'll get into in just a second, but you just can't get behind all the fall-esque colors, all the muted tones, you're just a signature black legging kind of gal, you're in good shape. Like I said, clay is my favorite color, so I'm gonna use this legging as the example for like everything. Now let's get to the good stuff, shall we? They added some spice to this legging in all the right places. You actually have multiple contour textures so we have a very, very fine baby rib paneling. Now this one goes almost under the glutes, not all the way. It just grazes the side glute and then continues down the leg, wrapping around the back. Then they added in a raised seam that follows that baby rib and then just goes off and does its own thing. Just trickles out at the end there. But then you get down to the most noticeable part of the contour, which is this waffle knit. A waffle knit. So when I saw this waffle knit, I was like, okay, this is either gonna be sick or make things a little difficult. <laughs> it could potentially change the entire fit of this legging because look, just holding it up, this waffle contour cinches in the material. Here, I mean, look at it pucker in. When you're just hanging up your legging, it looks a little bit distorted. Looking like you just washed these in lemon juice. But that's okay, that's natural. The waffle knit is pretty interesting. It wraps around the leg, down the leg, then you have some more racing contour and fine ribbing. I I mean, there's just a lot of contour. You can 100% feel the thickness of this waffle knit. The thing is, is when you put these on, as if amplifiers weren't already difficult enough because you have to be super conscious of this butt scrunch. You can't just pull from the back. We all know that I've ripped some amplify pulling directly from the scrunch. You always pull around that. When pulling these up, just be a little bit mindful of the waffle knit. If you're not super careful, and especially if you're somebody who has really long nails, you just got your nails done and you go to pull up from the waffle knit i believe since that material right in the little hole area gets a little bit thin and extra delicate you can absolutely pop a hole in your waffle knit and that would suck beyond belief <laughs> I felt it myself and look at me. I mean, I keep them as short as possible. So needless to say, yeah, it's an extra delicate legging now. <laughs> it gives a nice thick, rough feel, but there's some little delicate areas you have to look out for. Now let's talk about sizing. All right, I'm getting a lot of questions. Should I size down? Should I size up? Keep my true size. I kept my true size in everything and I love it. Like I just wouldn't have sized up or down in these. I always say when it comes to Amplify, given it's insanely stretchy body molding material, you really can go either way depending. Do you prefer a lot of compression in the waistband? If so, and if you're in between, sizing down could be okay for you. But if you're somebody who's just like, no, I can't. I can't do with compressive waistbands. And if you're in between, then size up. I'm happy with my true size small. If it ever came down to it, they're out of a size small and I need to go one way or the other or else I miss out on this legging. I'm gonna go ahead and probably size up. But that's because I absolutely hate getting cinched in the sides. More compression, not a good thing for me. It makes me angry actually, compression wise. It is the same exact material as the previous launches. Okay, they did not switch up the material one bit. The waistband is still the same, three tiered, tapered, baby ribs. I would say that this new round of Amplify Contour is super similar to the last launch, compression wise, okay? I know back in the day, before they changed that waistband compression, sometimes the leggings would be a little too compressive. We all know that, we talk about it all the time. This is not like that. I didn't feel like they retracted back to real previous launches. This feels just super similar to the last launch. When they changed up that waistband, made it a little less compressive, everything's just from 
reminding me of last launch. The darker the color, the more compression I feel. That's just how it is. The darker you go, so black was obviously the most compressive on me. The lightest compression was seriously like porcelain. It's not to a degree where I need to change sizes, not at all, but it's relatively noticeable. Okay, feels slightly more snug here. With a lot of these lighter colors, we're all thinking the same thing. How sheer are they? <laughs> <laughs> Not how squat proof, how sheer, because we know athletes' leggings tend to be super sheer because they're so thin. So take a look for yourself. Right over here, I'm squatting in a nude seamless thong. This is how I naturally squat in pretty much all of my seamless leggings. Over here, you can see me squatting in a black brief. This is just so you can see a true representation of just how sheer it can be. If you're somebody who has tattoos or, I don't know, it's your last underwear in the drawer and you're just stuck with a black brief, now you know what you're looking at. I know a lot of you are wondering about the scrunch. I could be wrong, but this is just what I'm hearing, that the scrunch is longer this time around, but I actually took my handy dandy measuring tape and I compared this scrunch to the last collection scrunch. They're just shy of three inches. You're gonna see cellulite in some of the thinner places, like the booty area, but I will have to say, it's not as bad as it's been, only because now we have this contour breaking things up, adding some thickness, some texture. It's super distracting from the cellulite. If you're worried about the camel toe situation, you you gotta wear a thick, seamless underwear with these. You just have to. Let's touch base on the new contour bra. Actually super happy with the contour bra for a few different reasons. Number one, we all know that Alphalete really likes to, they like to put out bras that, uh, how do I say this kindly? <laughs> They're not the most flattering in certain areas. That's just in my opinion, of course. I was happy to see that this contour bra, it gives back a little bit. Do you know what I mean? It gives back. In other words, finally, some titty action. Now granted, this is still super low support. I'm cool with that, but I have to say, I really like this direction that they're going into. The back is super comfortable. Nothing's pinching or digging. You have a nice, simple racer back, but then they added in that massive keyhole. So you do see the gains right through. Very beautiful, low scoop neckline, thick straps, so it's just as comfortable as the other ones, okay? Still got the removable bra pads. You have a ribbed band underneath, but no elastic band, so you don't have that extra support and it just lays flat against your skin. I'm super happy with my true size small though, very happy. Their bras used to run really big on me. I think that they tweaked that a bit because now this size small is everything. I think that if I'm in between though, I would rather size down than up because if I were to size up, we're gonna get a little big here and then I'm gonna pop a titty out. Nobody wants that. All right guys, so let's go ahead and see how these hold up when working out.
guys. So I just tested out all of these colors just so I can get the gist of how they fit and feel. The major thing I was looking for was how that waffle knit held up. All right, I especially wanted to see how it held up when weights were rubbed against it, uh, when I pulled and tugged like as if I was pulling them up to put them on and hip thrusting, you know, the barbell rubbing up against the legging and how the waffle knit actually felt on my skin. First and foremost, let me talk about the waffle knit, the feeling. I don't feel it, all right? When you rub your hands on it, you feel the texture, yes. But I didn't feel it on my skin. Right now I'm wearing the black, like I don't feel that waffle knit. The material in this Amplify is so silky soft that it just, just glides really nicely. I don't notice it one bit, which is crazy because if you flip the legging inside out, there's a pretty heavy texture, you can see the different woven textures, it's pretty thick. So I'm surprised at how comfortable it really was when working out and moving and bending in it. The second thing that I noticed was that um, the black legging, the one I'm wearing all right now, feels completely different. Like the material doesn't even feel the same. It is made out of the same material. I checked the tag. It feels thicker, feels a bit more rugged. It doesn't feel as silky smooth as the rest of the colors do. The rest are very consistent. It's just the black one that feels different um, and definitely more compressive. Each legging held up great though. Hugged my curves. There's no gaping, no dipping. Just how I love my amplifies. After a while, I started to see it slowly starting to pull a little bit. If you look closely, like I said before, there's some spots there that get really thin in between the waffle knit. So if you're pulling up by that knit and you have long nails, you're absolutely gonna put a hole in them. It will only be a matter of time. Especially if you're somebody who really likes to size down in the amplifies, say you like a more compressive fit, like I'm a little tighter on the glutes and things like that. You want less material, so you size down. Whatever your reason, if you were to size down, this is why I think that waffle knit's gonna be a little extra tender for you and a little more delicate because the very thin material's already spread out so much. So uh, that's why I would not suggest sizing down too much. I keep looking over here at the camera. It's over there, my bad. <laughs> But other than that, with weights rubbing against the material, the barbell, all that rough textures did not make my leggings pill. All right? And again, this was just my first few uses. So by all means, don't know how it's gonna hold up like six months from now, but this is just what I'm gathering. So big takeaway, I did all the exercises that we all love to do, those staple workouts, and they held up great. All right, we're gonna close the show with this really good question here. Which do I prefer? The OGs or the new contour? I think when contour's done right, it can really emphasize your assets in all the best ways. I also feel like it naturally gives it a sportier look. When I wear leggings with contour, swoops and swaps and all that, I just feel like it gives a little more dimension to a legging. It gives something for the eye to look at and just gravitate towards. And I feel like it just really adds a more athletic look. Not to say the OGs don't, but the OGs compared to the new contour makes the OGs look pretty flat. Still love my OG Amplify, do not get it twisted. But I am happy to see it slowly evolving with the times. And I do remember Christian saying this. He said that the Amplify needs to evolve a little bit. And I think they did it right. I'm happy to see them making the contour of this legging different from other brands that I've tried. It's very easy in this business for these brands that sell similar things to just kind of take inspiration from each other. So when I first saw these leggings online, not in person, but online, I really thought, oh, I think they're going for honor active vibes. Like maybe that's where the inspo came from. But getting them in person, seeing the waffle knit texture, these are unique to themselves. So to answer your question, yeah, I think I do like these more. <laughs> Actually, I know I do. I know I do. I think it adds just the right amount of spice to a legging that I already loved. All right, guys, you know the drill. Drop a comment with those thoughts. Are we in love? Are we gonna pass this round? Definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. This way you do not miss any future Alpha Lee videos or Buff Bunny or Gymshark or Young LA. Actually, we do have a Gymshark video coming up next. And there's a brand new print that we just have got to discuss. I'm sure you guys have seen sneak peeks. Oh, you haven't? Well, just hold on a second then. <laughs> this literally just landed at my doorstep this morning. Let's go up close, shall we? What on earth is this? I know you recognize that Gymshark Adapt look. You gotta wait till next time. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here. I hope this review was super helpful to you. I love you guys so much, and I'll catch you in my next video.